I'm Brian Bolio, CEO, Chief Economist of ITR Economics. And thank you for joining us for this edition of FedWatch. Today is March 30th, and it's been a fairly good week in that there hasn't been any nasty surprises. The, the news is that uh, those U.S. government 10-year bond yields that had gone up above 4%, and there was a lot of turmoil in the market, over the last week, they've settled back down. We're running a little, little above 3.5% on the 10-year bond yield. And it really is a relief to see them come down, maybe. And here's why it matters to you. It, it means the government's financing of our national debt isn't quite as heavy as it was going to be. It means that we've been able to take the, our forecast for the 10-year government bond yield and actually lower it. We have it going down between now and a year from now about 50 basis points, so half a percentage point. And that's that's good for the government, but not necessarily a great thing for you and I, because the government bond yield will typically weaken as the world's economy weakens and as the US economy weakens, then those two things are obviously linked. So it, it, the government bond yield coming down is a, one of those indications that yes, we are indeed moving toward this global slowdown. And that brings us to the risk in the forecast of only 50 point basis points decline a year from now. It could be steeper if this recession globally is worse than we are anticipating. And the latest data shows that it isn't likely to be, but we're obviously on top of that data every week to make sure that it's still on track. It may not be as you know steep as even 50 basis points for that matter. Um, depends on if inflation doesn't come down as much as we are anticipating it's going to come down, or uh, a whole host of other factors, I, I, I presume. But 50 bips right now is our best guess. And that generally means that the Fed's going to have to work a little harder to get us back into a normalized yield curve. And as we talked about last week, the two bank failures and other stresses in the banking system, although not systemic, may help us in terms of returning to a normal yield curve. So is the good news or bad news? There's neither really in economics. There is just news. And the news is yields came down 50 basis points. We think it's a gradual decline of another 50 basis points by here from here. Could be steeper, but we're still looking at the Chinese and the Japanese and the Brits and others staying out of the market. So that's probably why it's only going to be that 50 basis points. Thank you for joining us for this week's Fed Watch. And look forward to talking to you next week. Thank you.